hello good youtubers of the world all about nan is back with another video and today i'm going to be doing something that i've been trying not to do for some time and you might be thinking now what are you banging on about basically i'm going to be customizing the nike sb jordan ones new york to paris i always get that wrong paris to new york whichever I'm going to be doing some customization on it. I've been itching to see what the colours underneath, underneath the grey look like. I've almost sort of, I've been very rough with them. I've climbed over the back garden wall to go and feed the cows. I've tried to scuff them because I just thought this is going to take forever to see if I do it 100% naturally. So I've given in. And I am going to be customising them using a few materials that we shall go and have a look at in just a second. But before we do, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that little notification bell so you know when I'm dropping a video. Drop a like on the video, it definitely helps. And comment down below, did you do this to your pair or are you being a little bit better than me and trying to do it naturally? Without further ado, let's get into it. So, as you can see, I don't know whether you can, I have, it's very bright at the moment, so I don't know whether this is actually working, whether you can see it or not. And on the other one, you can just sort of see there where the paint is coming off. So, what I'm going to use is these Wonder Wipes some sandpaper blocks i'm going to use this so as you can see i'm going to be using those three well one two three four items to try and just distress these a little bit so we can see the colors coming through so i've got one of these wipes and let's give it a go So one of the things that I um, I just wanted to say to you guys is I don't want to take off all of the grey. It's literally just a case of bloody hell, windy. Um, it's literally just a case of um, getting some of the pink touches out, getting some of the mixing the pink with the grey. But not taking the whole of the grey off because I do like the grey. So just thought I'd tell you that. Oh, I'll tell you something. One thing I've learned just now. Um, Anyone who's doing this au naturel, it's going to take a hell of a long time. Believe me. I think it's going to take more than a year to actually really wear these down. This actually, this is a lot easier to take off than the grey. Just a tip if you are going to use these, um, if you are going to use these wipes this is easier the black on this material it could be to do with the material i'm not sure so maybe use the uh, sandpaper for the gray and the wipes for the black <sighs> good grief i honestly don't think i'm going to be able to do the two today because this takes forever <laughs> Right, so as you can see, we've got 
nice sanded down parts to the shoe um, this is strange because I do think these little spots here or the little divots they are I think they were like that when they came out of the box I've tried to get rid of them while sanding them down but it's not really happened but um, but I think it's coming out well it's coming out really nice so I'll continue this and then hopefully have one shoe to show you at the end so we're back inside and we have done the shoe wow that took me about 40 minutes no word of a lie obviously this video is not 40 minutes long i couldn't put you through all that because it's boring so let's have a look how it turned out i'm really pleased with it actually really really pleased with it so I think I am still going to maybe take a little bit more black off the ankle area, just a little bit, and maybe a little bit more off the black swoosh. But all in all, I'm really pleased. As I was mentioning, the these little divots, it's actually emphasised them a little bit more, but it all adds to the character of the shoe. Um, so in the end, as I might have mentioned, earlier on I did use the wipes for the black didn't need to use the sandpaper at all for the black but the grey it was definitely a stronger paint and you definitely needed sandpaper for the grey um, but I think it turned out really nice so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap out the laces as well so I'm gonna put the light um, the crimson the crimson laces they call them crimson don't they so the crimson laces i'm going to put those in um i'm going to do the other shoe because as i said this is taking me 40 minutes to do and then when i have done them both completed them both i will show you again how they've turned out but it's fun it's really fun to do there's no way as i mentioned there's no way in this world doing it naturally you will get this you might do in about five years time continuously wearing them but it definitely made me realize how much you would need to wear them and what you'd have to do with them you'd have to play football in them or flip in climb trees in them to actually get that really nice worn down and scratched up look definitely there's just no way just wearing them naturally to the shops day after day after day or whatever there's just no way you would get this result not in a million years so it was it was a good test actually it was a really good test it's making me want to double up on them i have to say and have a totally gray pair and then the worn in pair um because they're so nice these they really are absolutely gorgeous and really really comfortable as well the leather is now it's creased up a bit I like creased up leather and I know a lot of people don't but I do um, it's made the leather softer made it more comfortable all in all a really really gorgeous shoe and I'm super happy with the results um, let me know in the comments what do you make of the results um, have you customized them yourself have you scratched them up or are you going to wait five years because that's what I think it will take um, but yeah let me know let me know also um, don't forget the membership in the description it all helps the channel D different tiers for different budgets I have also got the keep it real beanies that are for sale um, they're all made to order so they're available in black grey navy um, again down in the description on the real crew big dot big cartel so if you want to support the real crew and join the membership then please do it really 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 helps so there you go this week also we have what else do we have we have got my vintage sneaker collection i will be showing you that this week um, a lot of people have been asking me about it so it was basically vintage Nike collection there's no Adidas in there these are all shoes that I've kept since the early 2000s so 
they're not sort of thrifting pickups they're all my own shoes that I bought back in the day um, so I'll be showing you that this week also um, providing it cools down the weather I'm going to be doing a fit video I never got around to doing it last week um, a fit video uh, with my off-white Terra Kigers in white also we'll have a um, Paxson Fear of God Essentials unboxing that will be coming soon hopefully obviously it's coming from america so gotta wait may might even be next week but fingers crossed um but thank you so much for watching thank you for your support it really really helps and i appreciate every single one of you and thank you once again for watching and all about that we'll see you on the next one keep it real guys